I'm saying hello today on a very nice evening of October 10th, 2011 from beautiful Bayfield, Ontario. And we are here at one of the most distinguished establishments in town, the Little Inn, and I'm talking with the head chef, right? That's correct. Wonderful. So please tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, What's your uh, name, first of all? My name is uh, Joseph Petronak. I'm uh -huh. the executive chef at the Little Inn in Bayfield and have been now officially for about my third year now. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, Inn is situated, obviously, in the wonderful town of Bayfield and here on County. Uh, and we're very much a proponent of local and, uh, you know, as organic and as free range as possible, uh, our food products. Where did my pork come from Pork today? came from uh, our uh, co-sponsor uh, co on the farm, uh, Metzger's, which uh -huh. is a famous butcher from the area. Metzger is German Gerhard, pork uh, yes, butcher? Yes, exactly. His it's family amazing. name is Butcher, so obviously he's very good at his job. That's right. Uh, so uh, that's where your pork came from. Mm -hmm. uh, all of our vegetables come from our farms. The fish comes from the lake. Oh, so the vegetables that I had oh, were exactly, local yeah, as well? From our farm, we have a Mennonite family that we co-op oh. the land from. So I pretty much go every year, every season, I'll go and discuss what we would like, and right. then they would plant, and then uh, every week I'll go and I'll pick up what they harvest. I had some really neat vegetables today. Yeah, Can you yeah. tell me again what they were? Well, we have an assortment of there's heirloom roots. We have Romanesco, which is an unusual sort of uh, cauliflower, yeah. uh, broccoli that sort of That was the hybrid. green one, right? That's but green, little. little, exactly. Right. And we also have a little thing, uh, a Chinese artichoke, which yes. is what we grow, also known as Kreuzne. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else do we have? White beets, uh, you name it. I pretty much plant whatever I like, and yeah. they, they, they make it happen. I'm, I'm really the guy unusual. that I roll up in my truck and I pick it up. I'm not a chef that forages and picks. I prefer to let the experts do their job and yeah. I do mine. So, exactly. but I'm very much a fan of uh, the, you know what this this region is all about, mm -hmm. which is local mm -hmm. and uh, you know as fresh as you can get. So and the greens for for, for the salad yes, came the from greens, the same yes, farm. Yes, exactly, ah, exactly. Because yeah. they were very nice as yeah, well. Yeah, we uh, we are fortunate. The the family that does our farming, the uh -huh. bilers, they're very very uh, hardworking souls. Yeah. And they put a lot of attention to detail, like I do in my cooking. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you know what we do here, it's a, it's sort of a locally sort of local style of cuisine uh -huh. with the modern interpretations. You know, I, I'm uh, well traveled. I've worked in Europe for a lot of my career. Wow. And I have my master chef, so mm -hmm. you know, for me, it's being creative, but keep, keeping it as simple as I can, but mm -hmm. still playing a little bit, having exactly. a little fun, a little artistic license. Well, the say. presentation of your, of particularly the uh, the pickerel, yeah, was like a piece of art straight out of a gallery. Thank it was you. unbelievable. Well, that's that's my little, I guess you know, a little penchant your for a touch, little uh, eh? craziness, right? Yeah. A little madman uh, mentality. It was beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. I'm glad you guys enjoyed uh, your stay here. Hopefully, the whole town was wonderful. Oh, to you. we've. We've had a wonderful time here Fantastic. in Bayfield. It's a beautiful gem yeah, it's that not enough people know about yet. Well, you know what? It's one of those things. It's sort of like a little hidden secret. And it now is. It's starting to come out. You know, a lot of the people from the Toronto direction now are sort of kind of realizing that there is something else. Other than Muskoka. That's, I didn't want to say the words. You took it right out of my mouth. <laughs> you know what? I didn't want to bring that one up. But yes, yeah. there is something more than Muskoka. Go west. Go west and there's mm -hmm. no black flies. Exactly. That's, 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 that's true. That's, and that's much why less I, traffic. Yes. That's the one thing for me is uh, mm -hmm. I used to live in Toronto and that whole Muskoka thing, I was uh, turned off immediately just due to traffic. I know. Yeah. There's no I, way. Uh, chefs inherently are, are uh, impatient and waiting in line and mm -hmm. traffic is not something we're good at. I can imagine. Yeah. Now tell me, where did you work in Europe? Uh, well, I studied at the uh, Ritz Hotel in Paris. I went oh, wow. to the Master Chef program there and did my stage in their kitchen. You and then you worked right. You learned right at the top. Right That's at the amazing. Top. Yeah. And then I went from there to uh, Jean Robuchon's kitchen uh -huh. that he had in uh, Germain at the time. Okay. And then from there to uh, the south of France uh, with uh, Alain Ducasse. Wow. And then Saint Sebastian with Arzac, and then it's a lot of French. Cuisine. French, and then a little bit of Basque, and uh -huh. then uh, back to North America. I was in Montreal, Chicago. Wow. So so I've been I've been around and now I actually I go to Spain every uh, March for what, about a month. What part of Spain? Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah, I have a lot of friends there and I actually oh, work okay. with a company that uh, is based out of Barcelona. Oh really? Using a lot of modern technology and techniques for for chefs. So. Oh, that's not that fancy guy. Just uh, Ferran Audry. Yes, I am very good. Uh, really? With the, yes, the guy with the uh, frozen this and, and frozen his, uh, that. Albert, Ferran and Albert, his brother, uh, I've gotten to know. And uh, Albert, I'm a little bit closer to. Ferran is, uh, you know, he's very busy. Uh huh. Uh, and all the characters involved in that sort of uh, symphony, I've, I've gotten to 
would be acquainted with and trained with. So ah. I'm one of the lucky ones that uh, had the, had the privilege to learn from the best of the best. Yeah, because I mean, it takes what? How many months to get into that restaurant? Uh, years. A and year. Now the restaurant's That's actually right. closed for dinner service. They're turning it into a sort of an institute of learning and, uh, oh. and ideas. Yes. Yeah, so there will be no more. Yeah, they've opened a restaurant in, uh, in Barcelona called Tickets. Uh huh is sort of keeping a lot of the famous dishes alive along with some new things but it's not as grand as El Bulli was but yeah. it's still the same sort of flavor wow. so you still can kind of get a hint of what they were about but you still can't get in yeah it's, yeah. A, it's, it's one of those uh, a year in advance at least oh to book so if you're going next year book now yeah <laughs> yeah that's cool. even I am friends with them I can't even get it yeah so that's I how it imagine. works imagine well, that's wonderful. Thank You've you. got a ton of, of great exposure, different cuisines, different countries. Yeah, I'm uh, curious, and as a chef, I feel, you know, I'm always trying to strive to better myself. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. I pick up something or I see something I'm curious about, I'm always uh, more than willing to try to figure out how it's done and why. Yeah. And is it incorporated, can I incorporate it in what I'm doing? Exactly. You know, does it make sense with what we are? And obviously, because you have a market, and I, I can only work so deep in my market with sort of my creativity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my menu sort of goes in spell. Of, of crazy to like more mild just due to where well, I had a hard time understanding half of it like the people yeah, are the, and this, this stuff this menu is pretty uh, dumbed down compared oh to my god I, yeah, so yeah, exactly. I must be uh, really at the bottom end of the no, no, intelligence no, you're not, no you're not no you're not I'm just a little <laughs> bit of a madcap so I, okay. tend to, I tend to be a little over complicated you yeah. know what I mean that's just my mentality and my nature it's not that I try to but uh, it's really unique stuff well you know that's what I try to be I try mm -hmm. to be unique as any chef like as any artist you try to yeah, stand out you know exactly. and hopefully you're, you have your own identity and that's mm -hmm. what we at the end you know all there's been many chefs here many great chefs and uh, I'm fortunate I've been you know I was asked a few years ago to take over and mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to kind of bring it to the next generation yeah and hopefully there'll be there more than likely be someone else will move on for me so okay yeah now quick question how mm -hmm. does a chef like you stay so extremely slim and trim um, well that's a that's a that's a that's a wise tale that uh, you know never trust a skinny chef like yeah we say never <laughs> trust a fat chef because he's too busy eating exactly uh, I work a lot and uh, uh -huh. our job tends to have us not very hungry while we're working so when you're yeah. 12 hour days around food you kind of you just kind of here and there, yeah, a crust of bread yeah. or a little bit of cheese, and I don't eat till I get home. So usually uh -huh. I have like a meal a day, uh -huh. and wow. that could explain probably that. And my body's adapted over time. To, exactly. Yeah, and you know, I used to be a lot more uh, sort of, I'd exercise a lot more frequently, but now you know, I get as time goes on, you get busier. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, the exercise has stopped, but I still manage to kind of guess exactly. keep the the, the lean That's sort of good for physique. You. So I'm lucky. Good genetics, I guess. Good from genetics. Mom and dad. Yeah, wonderful. Definitely. That's awesome. Well, Thank you. we had a wonderful meal. Wonderful. After really give you a, a compliment. I'm not much of a meat eater, but I did have the pork today. The pork's a, pork's a, a one, you know, for most, a lot of people, they've never had it or they're not yeah. sure because it is bacon, but it's not bacon, but yeah. it's still, it's uh, one of the best things I think and from the from the pig. So oh, it the, was absolutely delicious and wonderful. the meat itself was so flavorful. And then the crust, yeah. oh my God, that's how, the, how that's delicious. That's the key for me. The skin has got to be yeah. crisp and it has yeah. to be uh, flavorful. So exactly. I took, it's about a three-day process, so I hopefully, you know, the, it translates it onto the plate wow, for you. Yes. a three-day process? Three days from curing to cooking and to really? uh, finishing as we do it per order in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's about three days. Oh full my time. god, yeah. I didn't realize everything yeah. that went into that. Yeah. Well, I really wanted to thank you for a wonderful meal. Thank you very much. It was my and pleasure. And for taking the time for the interview. You're finished for the day, I hope? Uh, yes, today actually. Good. I'm done and uh, off to a, fu a food show for the next two. So. Okay. Okay. A working so holiday, I guess Professional development. Yes, That's exactly. Great. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. Take thank care. you very much. Bye-bye. Perfect.